Well, good morning, friends. This is the Upper Room reading for Thursday, <clears throat> May the 20th. And the title is Holy Signs. Regular Bible reading for the day is found in Acts 5, verses 12 through 16. And also the focal verse is taken out of this passage in verse 12. The apostles, the apostles performed many signs and wonders among the people. So William Elliot from over in Northern Ireland in the United Kingdom uh, sends us uh, this devotional. <clears throat> God has given us many signs to show us how to know and follow our creator. If we look up into the sky at night, we can see what astronomers tell us are millions of galaxies, each with more stars than the number of grains of sand on the earth a sign of God's greatness. Yet another sign is God's rainbow as a promise that never again will God flood the earth. The clearest and most powerful sign our creator has given us is the cross, which demonstrates how much God loves us. <clears throat> what signs can we leave for others? Maybe we can help build a new school or an orphanage, either by joining a team or financially supporting and praying for such a venture. Other signs could be the food we leave at a food bank or clothes we donate to the homeless. Maybe the best sign we can leave is the encouragement, time, or prayer we invest to help point others in the direction of Christ Jesus. And the thought for today is, what signs of God's goodness can I leave for others today? And the prayer. Dear God, thank you for the signs you have given us. Most of all, we thank you for your great love for us. In the name of Jesus, who came to show us the way to you. Amen.